Hi, this is a presentation about relative addresses in formulae in Excel. And I'll also be talking about autofill operations. I'm going to start by clicking on a cell in this spreadsheet. And by doing that, I've highlighted that cell and I've made that cell the active cell. Now, I know that's the active cell because the borders of that cell are highlighted. And in the bottom right corner of that cell, I can see a very small black square. Some people call that black square a fill handle. And I'll be using that fill handle later on to perform autofill operations. Now, that active cell has a name. All cells have a name. That active cell has a name which is displayed in the name box. The name box can be found in the top left of the spreadsheet. So according to the name box, the name of that cell is J8. That uniquely labels or uniquely names the cell, but it also uniquely defines that active cell's location on the spreadsheet. It uniquely defines its cell address. Now the cell address has two components, J8, a letter component and a number component. The letter component, J, defines the column within which the active cell resides. This is followed by the number component, which tells me the row within which the cell can be found. So J8 is the cell address of that active cell there. Now, cells have many properties, background color, text color, I'll be focusing on two properties, the formula property of a cell and the value property of a cell. Now, that cell there has a formula in it. I can see that, especially if I focus on that, uh, if I bring my attention to the formula bar at the top of the spreadsheet. The formula there is equals D4. I can access that formula by just double clicking directly in the cell. Now all formulae begin with an equal sign. Now the remainder of that formula is just another cell address. It's what some people call a cell reference that is referring to a different cell, some other cell, which in this case is D4. And so all that formula does is it obtains the value from D4 and displays it in J8, which is the cell that has the formula as part of its property. As a result, the value of cell J8 is also 606, exactly the same as D4. Now, I will try to perform some autofill operations. There are four types of autofill operations. You can perform an autofill down, autofill up, autofill right, autofill left. Now, a simple way of performing an autofill operation is as follows you move the mouse icon over the fill handle. At the moment, the mouse icon is a thick white cross. 
if I move the mouse icon over the fill handle it becomes a thin black cross if I left click down and drag down I'm performing an auto fill down I'm staying within the one column so there's no column change but I'm moving down by one row so there's a change in row by one and as you can see row numbers increase as you go down so this is the original formula D4 I performed an autofill down I stayed within the column within the one column and there's no column change but I moved one row down and row numbers increase as you go down I move down by one one plus four gives me five that explains the formula in that cell there J9 it explains the change in the formula I'm going to perform another auto fill down but this time I'm going to move down one two spots the original formula was D4 four plus two is six I moved down two spots row numbers increase as you go down I moved down by two rows therefore the row number increased by two but there's no change in column reference no column change when you're moving up or down so I've performed those autofill operations by using the fill handle and dragging down another way to do it perform an autofill operation is to copy black mouse button paste now I've moved down one two three positions down three rows no change in column D four four plus three is seven and D seven that's the formula there in that cell and it's referencing the cell reference is D7 and so that formula simply gets the value from D7 and displays it in the cell value of course being 393 when you perform an autofill down the row number changes it increases when you perform an autofill up the row number also changes but it decreases as you can see here row numbers decrease as you move up so I move up one spot during an autofill up operation 4 minus 1 is 3 when I do an autofill up operation and I've moved up by three rows one two three from this formula here from this position here I should say four minus three is one and the value you see there is from D1 notice again that whether it's auto fill up or down there's no change in column reference so time for an auto fill right when I do an auto fill right I stay within the one row but now I'm changing columns I'm increasing the column by one D next letter in the alphabet E row number I'm staying within the one row 
doesn't change. And I move across an autofill right by dragging one, two, three. D, E, F, G, G. So I've performed an autofill right. The row number does not change, but the column reference does in accordance with how many columns I've moved. And similarly, you can perform an autofill left. Row number won't change, column reference will. During an autofill right, the column reference increases. During an autofill left, the column reference decreases. The letter before D in the alphabet is C. And it continues to decrease in accordance with the number of columns you move by, you fill by. Two spots there, one, two, the letter before C is B. Now, you can also um, copy and paste, but this time what I'll do, I'll go to Paste Special, and I'll just paste the value. And you can see that what I'll see here is J8's value property only, which is 606. But if I double click here, there's no equal sign, there's no formula. I'll click here, right mouse button, I'll copy, I'll click here, right mouse button, paste special, paste special, but this time, the formula, I'll paste the formula. Now what have I done? I've moved two spots down, two spots to the right. So A, B, C, D, E, F, increase of two in the column reference, but also an increase of two in the row reference.